was. Y'all asked for it and now here it is. Toxic female jobs in no specific order. I'm not saying you can't date these ladies, but these are their red flags. CNA, impatient and busy, real heavy on the hairy up and pee. Always on the go, always got something they gotta do. Security guards, the security guards are always gonna be very argumentative and sleepy. Hairstylists, hairstylists are gold diggers and they're very superficial. I'm not trying to say that all they want is money because they make money, they make great money, but they about they money. So if you try to talk to a hairstylist and you don't have no bread, you might well keep it on walking. Bartender, be flirty and provocative. Yeah, her titties is out because she needs tips. Tips and titties go together. Flight attendant, they get around, and I'm not talking about the town, they get around the world, Craig, the world. A chef critical very critical of you and they have little to no sex drive dental hygienist not the dentist but the hygienist delusional and demanding they're delusional because for whatever reason they think they are the dentist and they're not bus driver bipolar and very strict one minute they happy the next minute they not a social worker unorganized haters the reason I say they haters is because they hate them kids and they hate the job. They got paperwork everywhere. HR. They are the ops and they are very manipulative. Watch what you say around them because they listening, they watching, they trying to catch you up. They will snoop through your cell phone. A male lady, if she deliver mail, they tardy hoes. Okay, they dropping off more than packages. You understand what I'm saying? And they always late. Uh, if they work in a call center, lazy, always cold, and she gossips. She'll cook clean, and she'll go to work, but she won't do all three in the same day. Her profession has the word tech in it. I don't care if it's a nail tech, a farm tech, a med tech, a lash tech. If the word tech is in her name, then she gossipy, and she never single. They always got somebody. Uh, anybody with a tech ain't never single. They got a guy on the side that they always keep, that they always talk to. So you could think you meet you a little braid tech or something like that. Trust me, she dating somebody else. It ain't just you. If it's a fitness instructor, are competitive and dominant. They may tell you they not competing with you, but they competing with you. And they are a little dominant. They not living in that femininity. They too strong for all of that. If it's a receptionist, she's passive aggressive. She nice and she mean at the same goddamn time. And she talk a lot too. If they work at a daycare, they're simple and very irritable. They've been playing with kids all day. They come home, they irritated, but they live a simple life. They probably gonna wear scrubs to work. They not a nurse, they work at a daycare. If they uh, work in retail, so that may be Forever 21, Bath and Body Works, any retail store, Macy's, Dillard's, any of those, needy and addictive. They the type of person that, hey, can you bring me something to work? Can you drop me off at work? Can you do this, can you do that? They're addictive to shopping. These teachers, party, animals they party animals and they freak they not just your freak though these freaks get around they be partying they get two months of partying another month in doing thanksgiving and christmas they partying all over the world some of them mess with the students but we ain't gonna talk about that all right if it's a poet these poets are emotional yeah they be you know they, they spit they spit that fire yeah they emotional and they are also talkative they are a cosmetologist they are judgmental so, uh, don't shoot the messenger. <whistles> Date them at your own accord. You be all right.